I've never actually done something like this before, but people have been asking about it. Uh, we are going to do a tier list for the most difficult boss. I, this is not scripted in any way. I've never even thought about this. Uh, so as you can see, the bosses are going to be separated uh, from order of difficulty, from absolutely brutal all the way down to even Bull Boy could beat it. After all my uh, hours and hours of playing the game on various challenges and S ranking, um, this will be just a general difficulty, how, how hard I think each boss is. Cagney Carnation, not much of a challenge, pretty easy. Uh, Hilda Berg, I would say she's quite difficult. Uh, I think she's definitely one of the harder ones of the airplane levels. Right next to, uh, God, I almost want to put him up to quite difficult, but I think he's, Willy Warbles is tricky, but not bad. Rumor Honey Bottoms used to be absolutely brutal, uh, but now she's kind of a joke to me. I'll still put her as quite difficult because it took a lot of practice before I got good enough to uh, take her down. Captain Briny Beard, I love him. He's really easy. Sally Stage Play, really easy. Uh, Werner Worman is not much of a challenge, but I'd say it's about the same level of difficulty. No, I'm going to move Sally Stage Play up to not much of a challenge. Dr. Call's Robot, the robot itself, Pretty pathetic. Dr. Call himself, pretty pathetic. Really easy for me. Cala Maria, I'd say, is tricky, but not bad, just because it's a lot of RNG. Uh, it's a lot of randomness. This, this, the, the ghost, the, this, the ghost, eyeball ghost, e easy. Like, I know he's only part of, he's only one phase, so it's hard to say, but his patterns are a joke. Uh, I would say Conductor Man is tricky, but not bad. Uh, Onion Boy, sorry, even Bull Boy could beat you. Can you walk left and right? Yeah, okay. The, uh, I forgot what these things are called. I'm gonna call them the Lollipop Ghost. I know someone else gave me the proper name. I can't remember what they are right now. If you know their name, put them in the comments. Tricky, but not bad. It's really not that hard as long as you, you know the trick. So I would say it's not that bad. The actual train itself, I'd put that as quite difficult. It's 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 definitely a, a stressful third phase. Oh, we're, we're going straight into the King Dice. Uh, I always thought the Tipsy Trio was one of the toughest ones in the entire thing. So Tipsy Trio goes up here. Chips Bedigan, I think, not not much of a challenge. Cigar Man, easy. Pippin Dot, uh, not much of a challenge. Oh my God, the stupid rabbit. The rabbit goes up. Where's where to go? Rabbit goes up here. God, what's his name? Who cares what his name is? An annoying rabbit. Uh, Fear Lap, I'd say is not bad. It's just the foreground. You, it makes it hard to see anything. That's the problem. Pirouetta, if you have Smoke Bomb, is pathetic. Mangosteen is pathetic. Carrot Man, sorry, you're in the Bull Boy category. Y monkey, this monkey, this friggin' monkey, absolutely brutal. I hate this monkey. Is it, is it brutal because it's hard? No. And I know that's what, how I define the tier list, but every time I see that monkey, I want to just reset. I, I hate him so much. I just knock it at memory games, and it's just so stressful. King Dice, I'd say, is not much of a challenge. Even on black and white, once I knew the trick, it was tough, but it wasn't that bad. I say the devil is actually quite difficult. Mostly the first phase, uh, but he's not that bad. Glumstone, I'd put as quite difficult as well. It's mostly the first and second phases. Let's see. Mortimer Freeze, I'd say tricky, but not bad. It, expert mode, he's very tough. S-ranking him is a pain, but that's just because there aren't enough parries. But normal mode, he's really easy. So I'm going to say that rounds out to uh, tricky, but not bad. Oh, this is... Oh, his phases are here. Okay. Uh, in that case, yeah, I think that still tracks. I'm going to move his final... F no. Honestly, I thought his second phase was harder, so I'm going to move his second phase to quite difficult, and his third and first phase are not bad. Esther Winchester is tricky, but not bad. You know what? I'll put her as not much of a challenge. She's tougher in expert mode, but in normal mode, I beat her really quickly. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know the names of these, these dogs. Uh, uh, Rolento Dog. Rolento Dog is pretty easy. The Little Puppers, super easy. Uh... Hot, hot female dog. Uh, I'll put it as quite difficult. 
I, I still don't have a good way to to effectively dodge the the dog bulls. I'll put her as quite difficult. She's somewhere between quite difficult and tricky and not bad. Goopy the Grand, Grand, Guppy, Guppy the Grand, Goopy the Grand, Slime Boy, pathetic. Ah, no, even Bull Boy could beat it. Sorry. Ah, oh, the spider. I don't think he's that much of a challenge. I don't think he's that bad. I'm putting uh, the the jitterbug. I, I, I don't know any of the DLC characters' names. I'm so sorry. Uh, hot insect lady is tricky until you know, like, until you learn you can just uh, smoke bomb on the on the sides, like in my video. Then it's a joke. But if you don't know that, I think it's quite tough. Anteater, I would say, is 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 uh, right up there, right up there, quite difficult. I was thinking putting him in absolutely brutal, but I don't think he's that tough. Sorry, snail boss. Even bull boy could beat you. Next, Chef Saltbaker, right at the top. I think he's the, the hardest fight of the game. Really, really horrible. I really dis. I mean, it's it's a fun boss, and that. But that first phase is so hard. I I think it's so brutal. Uh, Angel and Devil. I'd say that's quite difficult. Again, it's like you, once you learn the trick, it's not that bad. But just going in blind your first time playing it horrible uh not a horrible but it's it's tricky okay confession i am so awful at these pawns i'm putting the pawns up here i was so bad at the pawns there's a reason why i haven't done any of these on stream because they are i'm so bad at the chess chessboard fights i think the knight was tricky but it wasn't bad uh, bishop was pretty easy uh let's just do the, the all, all the, the chess pieces first uh the rook was tricky but not bad the queen was pretty easy it's just the pawns, and for some reason, I was so bad at the pawns. I don't know why. Ribby and Croaks, I'd say, is not much of a challenge. Really fun. One of my favorite boss fights, but he's pretty easy. Uh, let me look here. Like, is Ribby and Croaks easier than, like, Werner Vermin? Eh, it's about the same level. Okay, sorry. You guys are getting downgraded. Baroness von Bonbon, I'd say tricky, but not bad. Especially that final phase. Super fun. Beppy the Clown. Eh, not much of a challenge, I don't think. I don't, I don't think he's harder than, like, Cala Maria or, like, on the same level. I, th I think that makes sense. Jimmy the Great, I put him into Pathetic. He's, he's really... Once you, like... Yes, he's tough when you're starting out, but once you know the tricks, he's so pathetic. Grim Matchstick, straight to the top. Uh, yes, I am better at playing Grim Matchstick, but he is very very tough still uh for me even if i use lobber in the in the second phase that third phase really screws me up um so i'm putting even now after all my hours in cuphead i still find grim matchstick one of the tougher bosses so he deserves to absolutely be at the top uh wally warbles not quite absolutely brutal he is very hard to s rank but in normal mode he's not quite that bad so i'll have him in quite difficult and finally we'll have uh potato man i don't how can i remember the name of the root pack he can be in the bull boy territory sorry there you go that's every cuphead boss ranked by difficulty as according to justo all day <laughs> you if you disagree with me make sure to yell at me in the comments thanks for watching